So, <clears throat> I've been thinking. With Epic Universe now a year away, yes, we're doing another Epic Universe video, I'm sorry. But, I've been thinking. I did a video not too long ago talking about what I'd like to see expansion-wise in Epic Universe. And I'm sorry, I'm, so ex I'm just excited for this theme park. Because... I know a lot of people are going to be excited for N Nintendo and How to Train Your Dragon and Harry Potter. We're going to have a whole Universal Monster Land. How am I not supposed to be excited? How am I how am I not supposed to be excited for that? And with the possible expansions being like Lord of the Rings and a few others, it does really make you think like who what else could be there as part of an expansion land. And I got to say one expansion land I didn't think of in the video, but I did um, give thought to it lately, I was like, yeah, what if Universal and uh, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers work together and ex one of the expansion lands is a land dedicated to the monster verse. So, think on that real fast. We've never really had a Godzilla land. We've never really had, yet yeah, we've had Godzilla attractions. We had the Shin Godzilla attraction. Um, we've had the you know, Godzilla, you know, ride, but we've never had a full-on Godzilla land, and to have it in America would be a, would be interesting. Toho has been vo more and more lax with their property, and say what you want about the MonsterVerse itself, it's kind of the reason we have, like, Minus One and Shin and a few others, because Toho really loved what they did, and it allows them to not really so much compete, but it does give them the desire to make more. And I kind of like the idea of I can have dumb, stupid Godzilla fights and then dark, serious, you know, storytelling with Toho. It's it's okay to have both, people. I don't know why um, people think you can't have both. Like, you're not allowed to have fun. Fuck off. Anyway, so getting back to this, the I, like the idea of a Godzilla land may have been hard to swallow at first, but now with how popular um, the MonsterVerse has been, it would make sense to do this as a whole ass land, and I'm sure Toho would probably oversee it. But then again, you know, we always wonder what's going to happen with Warner Brothers, especially with the rumors of a merger. Since Paramount backed out, Universal might be like, come on, you know you want to. Like, that could be easily the thing, right? Like, that could easily happen is that we get a full-on... Like, Universal, and I've said this before, Universal has probably talked about um, in their CEO meetings, like, could we buy or merge... Um, could Zaslov just sell off uh, Warner Brothers to us? That way, you know, we'll have stuff... Because you know, they're really trying to compete now that there is, like... They want to build a theme park in London you know, you know, be right across the sea, you know, right across the sea from Disneyland Paris. So they really want to go at the mouse every chance they get and to take one. And again, this is just me speculating. This isn't confirmed, but Universal would might be willing to take that Warner Brothers, uh, take Warner Brothers and go, you know, they're not going to have Mar the Marvel land much longer because the, they may have to do the lease thing again, um, which they may not want to do. And they can just convert if they get the, Warner Brothers to get the DC Universe properties and they still they have Harry Potter at the land so it makes sense so yeah I'll maybe do a video talk I've done a video talking about it maybe I'll do a video in the future talking about like the ups and the upsides and downsides of a Warner Brothers Universal merger but that's not here or there getting back to the point at hand the idea of a how would you how would we do um a Universal no, excuse me, a universal, like, epic universe land for the MonsterVerse. Well, obviously, you you do it as Hollow Earth. Like, that's the land you go with. That's the easy route, is you don't do Japan, you don't do, like, some city, you do the Hollow Earth. It's The land is built right there for you. Now, as for rides, it would make the most sense, and I was watching Godzilla vs. Kong, and you, you know the scene I'm talking about, where they're going into the Hollow Earth, and see Kong battle the Warbats, that literally feels like a 4D ride that Universal or someone would come... Like, that's Star Tours right there. Like, just... It would be a 4D, like, ride, and I know a lot of people are tired of screens, but honestly, that's where I think one ride could be, is just following, you know, going deep into... Ho you're, you're going to explore Hollow Earth as, like, rookie members of Monarch, 
and you go in there, you encounter some warbats or other monsters, and Godzilla and Kong pop up to fight them. Um, it could easily be it be that. You could even do one. The thing is, is like how big would they? Uh, the animatronics might be too big for them. Remember, they did have Kong. You know, they did have confrontation years ago, but the difference there was that it took a lot of money to keep it in check. In fact, the fire at California was not anyone's fault. It was just a gap, uh, you know, fire happens. Fi and then they were like, well, the Kong thing works over there, and it's getting really expensive to run the giant 30-foot, you know, you know, over 30-plus uh, Kong animatronic here, the two of them. So how about we take it apart? Be easier. And subsequently, we got a really cool ride. I'm just saying, Revenge the Mummy is the best ride at Universal Studios. That's not. <laughs> that's not a. That's not like opinion. That's fact. Anyway. But I think that would be really cool as one ride as like you're going into Hollow Earth, you know, deeper into Hollow Earth and you're encountering, you know, Kong fighting Titans. You could even have like the Scar King or Shimu, the other new Titan that's showing up, or even some classic ones. Another ride I think would be really cool there would be. A probably like a roller coaster, like caught, like you're caught in the fight between like it could this could be really cool. Like you do a ro roller coaster, but you do it as like an homage to dueling dragons, where you have two different uh, roller coasters, and one's for Godzilla, the other's for Kong, and they like ro like draw like just like dueling dragons, they get make these near misses every time. You can have a blue coaster and a red coaster, and the cues would be awesome if you go Godzilla's route. Like it's, it's uh, like there's burns and there's um, it's kind of like the ancient city he, he stayed in in uh, King of the Monsters. It could also have like an aquatic feel because he does live underwater. And for Kong's Kong's like cue can be like all lush and jungle and humid, um, representing Hollow Earth. Or with the Godzilla side, another thing you do because he's the king of the surface while Kong's king of Hollow Earth. You could easily do, like, it's a smash city and Godzilla's just been, you know, stomping towards it to face Kong. Yeah, there you go. A Kong, ver a Godzilla versus Kong roller coaster and a Hollow Earth 4D adventure. Those are your two rides. Uh, yeah. I just thought this would be a fun video to do. And you guys tell so you guys tell me in the comments below. Would you guys want to see the monster verse at Epic Universe? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.